Hello everyone, my name is Gita, and welcome to your Picket Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be, Who is in love with you, and what do they look like? But before we get started, I'd just like to say really quickly that if you like this kind of video, and you would like for me to keep making more of this title, please give the video a thumbs up. Also, if it resonates with you. If you would like to get a private reading, you could see how to do that in the video description below. And if you would like to get notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. Also, down in the video description is where you'll find your timestamp. So this is going to be stone number one with a green agate, stone number two with a clear agate, stone number three with an orange agate, and stone number four with the purple agate. So you can go ahead and pause the video and take as long as you like, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and let's find out who's in love with you and what do they look like. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number one with the green agate, and let's go ahead and find out who's in love with you and what do they look like. Okay, so we have the two of pentacles in the reverse. We have the six of cups. We have the high priestess. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Then we have the Hermit. Clarifying the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, we have the Empress in the reverse. Clarifying the Six of Cups, we have the Four of Swords. Clarifying the High Priestess, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Clarifying the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, we have the King of Swords. And then clarifying the Hermit, we have Death in the reverse. Then clarifying the Empress in the reverse, we have Dragonfly. Oh, there's too much glare. Clarifying the Four of Swords, we have Coffin. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, we have Heart with a Key. <sighs> Clarifying the King of Swords, we have the Chaser. And then clarifying Death in the Reverse, we have Camera. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do this part and then I'm gonna tell you what they look like, what each person looks like. So let's talk about the reading a bit. So what I'm getting out of this reading so far is that out this from this, because it's read from this way to this way, this card, this is the person and it goes back. This is part of the person too. These are all cards that represent this one person. So um, there's one person who's very prominent, who's in love with you is what I'm getting out of this. Okay. Uh, it's trying to, the Empress is in the reverse. So the person, okay. Hang on. So the first person who I'm going to tell you about is mostly being depicted by this card and this card. And this is right here. This is a card. This is the Empress in the reverse. So it could be someone who is a Taurus or someone who is, wait, wait, what is the Eight of Pentacles one? I can't remember. I actually am not doing signs a lot. I just, I have to do it for this reading though, if you, it helps you know who it is. Okay, Virgo. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that is one of them. But the person could be a Cancer or a Taurus. 
okay? They're mostly being depicted in the center of the reading as the high priestess. And this is telling me this is the person who's in the center, someone who is probably more been the most beneficial to you, someone who's the most impact on your life, someone who who is um, it's just very prominent. This person is like unlike the other people. Like this person is definitely special. I don't know if you know who this person is. If you maybe you do. I don't know if you know any Cancers or any Tauruses. Let me know in the comments below. The relationship with this person, this person is trying to adapt. I feel like there's adaption and there's changing and then there's also some things that you need to heal from this person. <laughs> it's like the person also, I feel I'm picking up that the person is going through a transformation. But also that this person is possibly, maybe you're making each other transform. This person is supposed to help help you become more light, if that makes sense, like light, lighthearted. The person also seems to be overwhelmed This person is someone who you had an ending already most likely with, with this coughing card. And this person has a really hard time with how they feel about you because they are just so weighed down with emotion from you. They have difficulty being productive. That's how much they love you. But so with coughing, I'm really picking up that you had an ending with this person. But again, it's talking about this transition and liberation. Also, I'm picking up that a lot of you may have had a past life with this person. The Four of Swords. I feel like there's a lot of time that is being spent reflecting on the past with you. And that also, for some reason, you coming together makes each other um, reflect on the past. This person is currently putting a lot of work into your relationship at this moment. They're working and they feel like they're making progress. We have heart with a key here. It says welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. So basically what I feel like it's trying to say is this person is with, with someone who would kind of be perfect for you or per, you would be perfect together Maybe that you should get together with this person. This is the person who is the one. That's why they're kind of taking up like half the half of the spread. This person is a heart with a key. So it's like they have a key to your heart or they're, you have the key to their heart or something like that. I'm picking up. But this is like the one. This is meeting the one. But I don't know what kind of ending you had. Let me know in the comments below. We're going to go over from this person to this person to this person. There's three people here over what they look like. So this is going to be person number one. Okay. Person number two is being depicted by this card right here mostly. And this is the King of Swords. This person could be, it doesn't have to be, but they have a high probability of being an Aquarius or a Capricorn. And this is a person who is very codependency. They have the four of pentacles here and they're holding on to you and grasping to you. This is being depicted as the chaser and it says chaser in a codependent relationship. And this one has fear of abandonment issues. Okay. So maybe you're already currently in a relationship with this person or you're on the brink of one or something. Are you working? Are you dating this person or something? Maybe. But either way, this person is someone who is like, has a lot of codependent behaviors. This person also could be very, for some of you, this could just be an air sign too. I'm picking up, but this person is someone who is very kind of emotionally 
distant and withdrawn, but also um, very like mentally like a thinking person. Very tries to be logical. <sighs> this one can be either one of these things. We have the we have the hermit, which is Virgo, and then we have then we have death and the reverse, which is Scorpio. And then we have camera here, and it says, reminiscing, keepsake, per perception, learn from the past, and make memory. So this could be a person that you already had a past with as well, who you have made memories with, maybe someone who you've taken a picture with, someone who you spent a little time with, doesn't mean to be perfect. Also, this could indicate that they spend a lot of time looking at your social media. So let's go ahead and find out what they look like. So this is going to be... So number one, we're going to name the heart with a key. Number two is the chaser, and we're going to call number three the camera. All right, so let's figure out what does the heart with a key person who, what they look like. All right, so here's the eye color chart. I'm going to do, there's going to be a lot of people watching this video, so I'm going to do like a main one and then a secondary one. So there's going to be, like the bulk of you are going to have this one and the secondary one is going to be the other one most likely. These can't be per these aren't all may not always be perfect though. All right, so please tell me what is the what is the eye color of the person with the heart with a key? For the bulk of like the main What is the word I'm trying to find? What is the what is most of the people, what is the eye color going to be for most of the people who pick for heart with a key? What is the eye color for heart with a key for most people? And it's green. So for all, like a lot of you, it's going to be the heart or heart with a key person. It's going to have green eyes. All right, please tell me what is the secondary eye color for heart with a key? Secondary eye color for heart with a key. And the secondary eye color is brown. So some of you might have like some combination of that for the person who is a heart with a key. So let's do um, the, um, the person who is the chaser. Let's find out what the eye color is for the chaser. Please tell me what is going to, what is the main eye color for the people who pick for the second person who is um, the chaser? What is the eye color for people who pick the chaser? What is the main eye color for the people who pick the chaser? For like the second person. What is the eye color for the chip? I can't talk, man. What is the eye color for the chaser for the main most most people? Just temperature doesn't change. Please tell me what is the eye color for the main eye color for the chaser? So, like the bulk of you, the person's gonna have blue eyes. All right. Please tell me what is the secondary or the least, the second to the, to the most amount of eye color for the chaser? What is the second eye color, secondary eye color for chaser? And that's green. Okay. Oh wait, I had to do the third one. <laughs> I'm like getting ahead of myself. All right, so now we're doing, we're checking for the person who is represented by the camera. Please tell me what is the primary eye color for the, for the camera? The person who is the camera. What is the primary eye color for the camera? So like the most of you, the eye color is going to be brown. And what is the secondary eye color please for the camera? This is secondary eye color and then blue. 
So some are going to have brown, like a lot of them are going to have brown eyes and some are going to have blue. Alright, so let's go over hair color. Please tell me what is the mean hair color for people for the heart with a key? What is the mean hair color for heart with a key? So the main hair color for Heart with a Key is brown. What is the secondary hair color for Heart with a Key, please? Secondary hair color. Huh. The secondary hair color is red, so there's going to be some with brown hair and some with red hair. All right, so for Chaser, what is going to be the main hair color for the Chaser, please? For people who get this one, what is going to be the main hair color for the chaser? And then we have blonde. So the most of the you know the people are going to have blonde hair that that do this reading. And then please tell me what is the hair color for the set for the chaser, the secondary one. What's the secondary hair color for the chaser? All right, and then we have black. So, person's gonna either have blonde or black hair, but blonde is like the number one one that's gonna be between the both all of you. All right, please tell me what is the hair color of the of the camera? The person being depicted by the camera. What is the primary hair color? Primary hair color. So we have black. All right, what is the secondary hair color for a camera, for the person who has a camera being depicted by the camera? What is the secondary hair color, please? All right, then we have brown. So that tells you what they look like. Let me know how it resonated with you in the comments below. But that's all I have for stone number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. It helps me out. If you'd like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to stone number two. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number two with the clear Aggie. And let's go ahead and find out who's in love with you and what do they look like. So the first part, I'm going to put the cards and then I'm going to do the pendulum. It's going to tell me what they look like. So we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. We have Judgment. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Then we have the Four of Wands. Clarifying the Ten of Swords in the reverse, we have the Ten of Swords. Clarifying Judgment, we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. Clarifying the Ace of Cups, we have the Hermit. Clarifying the Eight of Cups in the reverse, we have the King of Swords in the reverse. Clarifying the Four of Wands in the reverse, we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. And clarifying the Ten of Swords, we have Girl with a Snake. Clarifying the Six of Swords in the reverse, we have Engagement Ring. Clarifying the Ace of Cups and the Hermit, we have Twin Flames. 
clarifying the Eight of Cups in the reverse and the King of Swords in the reverse. We have Hammer. And then clarifying the Queen of Swords in the reverse and the Four of Wands, we have Ascending. Alright, so I paused the video for a second because I forgot to ask how many people were being depicted in here. Because I always try to ask to be sure. I was thinking maybe it was four people, but it says it's three. So one, two. Okay, hang on. What the heck is going on? I'm trying to understand this beginning part. Some of you might understand it, but. Because we got the Twin Flame card. Because this one person is at rock bottom and they're trying to have a fresh start. They've been hurt and betrayed. A girl with a snake doesn't have to necessarily be a girl. But I feel like it's like an, emp an empath with a narcissist paradigm being charmed or used. So this is a person who is being charmed or used possibly by you or it could be by someone else or someone you know. <sighs> this is a person who It could be a Scorpio or a Virgo or I don't know, a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. I'm just throwing out those because we have all these swords here. It could be just an air sign in general, but these are I mean also it could be a cancer if we count or cancer um, Pisces Scorpio just from the Ace of Cups. But anyways. This is a relationship that's being, okay. So, oh my God. All right, so this person, they're having a difficult mental transition through what this is, this Ten of Swords situation. And, but they're being divinely guided to come into union with you. I feel like for some of you, some of you are the ones who did the hurting. You're kind of maybe acting out or in your ego, or you, this person is someone you, you know, who has been going through that with someone else. Take your pick, whatever resonates. This is a general reading, but this person, I feel like for a lot of you is a twin flame of yours. So you're really supposed to compliment each other. This is definitely a yin and yang balancing zen. And it seems like this person is, there's a lot of love going on here with this person and it's like flowing, but also I'm picking up the intuition as part as well. And even if the person's not a Virgo. It doesn't have to be any of the signs, to be honest with you. But a lot of people who are going to get it, they're going to resonate with that. That's why I say it. But this per person is reflecting on the co on the connection. Maybe you both are. I feel like there's a lot of reflection going on with this relationship. And this is an important relationship, obviously, because it's a twin flame relationship. It's taken up more than half the spread. Then we have another person here. So we're going to call this one the twin flame. I'm labeling them. There's three people. I'm going to label the first one twin flame. So the second one we have is hammer. We're going to label this person hammer. And this is a person who is emotionally cold this person that you might be having a hard time with this person but they're still in love with you this person could be an Aquarius or a Capricorn or even a Pisces 
this person is really having, they're just not able to walk away from you. Even though they're being cold and demanding and, co and controlling, they're not being a very good person. Okay, maybe they're saying a lot of hurtful things, but the reason why they're saying all these hurtful things is because they're trying to sabotage things. It's like they're purposely trying to sabotage things because they're hurting so much. Also, it could have to do with um, self-esteem as well. But they're working on things. I feel like they're working on trying to either appear and get over it and they're they're working on getting over the situation. I feel like they're trying to move on even though they're not able to at this moment. Then we have the next one we're going to label ascending. So we have twin flames, hammer, and ascending. Okay. This is a person who is actually, they're in love with you, but they're preparing for a union themselves with their twin flame. They're actually, this person actually knows their twin flame, whether they are aware of it or not. And this person is possibly gossiping, talking, some very cutting, hurtful words possibly with you. This person is probably a soulmate and they're, and they're working through their, I feel like they're trying to learn how to grow. Okay. It says right here with ascending, preparing for union. They're transcending obstacles and they're learning, expanding. So this person is really learning a bunch right now, but they're still in love with you. All right, so let's see what they look like. All right, so for twin flames, I'll put that here. So this is for the person who is twin flames, who is being labeled as twin flames. So please tell me what is the eye color of the person who is under the label of twin flame? Who is the eye color? What is the eye color of the twin flame for the primary eye color? All right. So the bulk of you, there's going to be a lot more like the, the one, the eye color that everyone's going to mostly have is going to be blue. Please tell me what is the secondary eye color for the twin flame person? What is the secondary eye color? What is the secondary eye color? So the secondary eye color is green. All right, and then for the person who is twin flames we have here. Please tell me what is the primary hair color for twin flames? The person who is twin flames. What is the primary hair color? And the primary hair color is brown. Whoops. What is the secondary hair color, please? What is the secondary hair color for twin flames? With stone number two. And the secondary hair color is red. Okay. And that's for twin flames. The person who's being depicted as twin flame in this reading. Then we have hammer. Please tell me, what is the primary eye color for the person who is being depicted as hammer? What is the primary eye color? Like the bulk of them. So the primary eye color is blue for hammer as well. What is the secondary eye color for the person who is being depicted as hammer? And brown is the second. 
So it is blue or brown eyes. All right, so here is for the hair color. For the person who is in love with stone number two, what is the primary hair color for stone number two's hammer? The person being depicted as hammer in stone number two. So the primary color is black. So the bulk of everybody who gets this one is going to be black for the second person who's in love with you. And please tell me, what is the secondary hair color for the person who's in love with stone number two? With hammer. What is the secondary hair color? And blonde is the secondary hair color. All right, so let's see what we have for the third person who's in love with you. Alright, for the person who's being represented as ascending, please tell me what is the primary hair eye color for the person who's being represented as ascending? So the primary eye color for the person represented by ascending is green. Please tell me what is the secondary eye color for the person who's being represented by ascending? The third person who's in love with stone number two. So the secondary eye color is brown for the person being represented as ascending. All right. Please tell me what is the primary hair color for the person being represented as ascending the third person who's in love with stone number two. What is the primary hair color? So the primary hair color is black. Please tell me what is the secondary hair color for the person being represented as ascending? What is the secondary hair color for the person being represented as ascending? So the third person who's in love with you, the bulk, the, the secondary hair color, like the least, the, let, the lesser amount is blonde. And this is just to help you kind of like narrow it down to who it is. This isn't going to be perfect. This is a general reading. If you really would like to know something more specific, I suggest always a, a private reading. That's going to be more accurate. But this is for general reading. Um, I'm really hoping that this will help give you an idea. A lot of times it resonates with most people. Sometimes it won't resonate. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead, Neil, and move on to stone number three. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number three with the orange agate. And let's find out who's in love with you and what they look like. So first I'm gonna do the cards, then I'm gonna do the pendulum to find out what they look like. All right, so we have the moon. Then we have the three of wands. Then we have the nine of wands. get them straight. There we have the Emperor. Then we have the Two of Swords. See, I still didn't get them right. Get them right eventually. I don't know why I can't get these ones straight. <laughs> Kind of drives me crazy. All right, then clarifying the moon, we have the King of Cups. 
Clarifying the Three of Wands, we have the the Hierophant in the reverse. Clarifying the Nine of Wands, we have the King of Swords. And I just want to say really quickly, every time I touch it, since I've drawn it for this reading, I've felt like this is mostly being represented by air signs. Even though the card can mean, you know, Aquarius or or Capricorn, I'm really feeling like it could definitely be mostly air signs who get this one that's representing right now. And we have the Hermit in the reverse. Then we have the Two of Swords. For clarifying the Two of Swords, we have the Chariot. All right, and then clarifying the King of Cups, we have Clock. Clarifying the Hierophant in the reverse, we have Girl with a Snake. Clarifying the King of Swords, we have Wedding Rings. Clarifying Hermit in the reverse, we have Healing Heart. Clarifying the Chariot, we have Sword and Rose. All right, so for a lot of you, this is going to be, this is five different people is what I was told by the pendulum. I had to check. I am getting like a cross between like they're telling me different things about the situations with different, with different ones. It was kind of a little bit tricky to understand. So the first person that is showing up that is in love with you is a person who is either there has a strong probability of being a Pisces or a um, water sign. And then we have clock. So this is a situation that it needs time or it's going to take a lot of time for it to come together. And time for it to progress. Okay. I went. I was picking up. There's some messages that are coming over here. This is a person who is taking, making long-term plans to um, to do something right. I feel like that they kind of. I feel I'm picking up that some of it might be someone like a third-party situation where um, where some deception might take place in order for. For you guys to come together or something that might have to take place and they not they're not quite sure what the right thing is to do but they're launching long-term plans or trying to create long-term plans on what they wanted to like a kind of like a strategy it feels like and then this person right here is could be a Taurus or an Aries I'm picking up strongly but this is a person who, for a lot of you, is not really having to do with this. But um, as much as this person is a person who did, like, you're probably like an empath and they're like a narcissist. And they hurt you a lot. They probably are good at charming you. They charm charmed you, maybe, maybe used you and you had to set boundaries with them or you should do. This person's not good. I feel like this person is setting long-term goals to um, to um, try to manipulate you. And then we have this person here with the King of Swords and the Nine of Wands. This person's very, like, I feel like wounded is a word that's coming up and guarded. And this is a person, I'm like I was saying before, I'm really heavily picking up being mostly air. And then this could be a person that you're already actually in a relationship with. Maybe you live with this person, or maybe you did live with this person, and or you were married to this person, or had a really, like, maybe you're engaged. You had a very committed relationship with this person. This is someone who you probably had union with, someone who you have a strong soul connection with. It also says eternal love and everlasting promise. <laughs> then 
we have this person with a healing heart with the Emperor and the Hermit. The person could be an Aries or they could be a Virgo. But it, there's like a higher probability that that's going to resonate with a lot of people. And this person is healing from a heartbreak. They're probably just got out of a toxic relationship with somebody or an addiction. But they're working on healing their heart. They're trying to gain control of their life at the moment gain and take charge of their own life instead of, you know, trying to heal their heart and they're needing to take time on their own. Then we have this person with a two of swords with a chariot. The person could be a Libra or they could be a Cancer. This person... Mm, They're trying to make forward, they're trying to take forward movement. Also, I'm picking up at some of you that this might be you loving yourself. Just, I'm picking that up for some of you. So let me know which one is you in the comments below. If you felt like any of these were actually being depicted as you. And tell me how much you love yourself. <laughs> With the sword and the rose, it's like clarity, truth. Revelation, so solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. I'm getting really truth and revelation. <sighs> but this is a person who is trying to make forward movement very carefully. Someone who's very controlled, they control themselves really well. Like they're, they're not controlling other things are mostly controlling themselves. They have a lot of self-control. And they're probably a perfectionist. And with the two of swords, I'm seeing at this moment they're probably stuck between trying to choose between staying around with you, like waiting for you, or moving on. Doesn't have to necessarily be the moving on thing, but I feel like there is definitely like a feeling stuck between two things not being able to choose possibly even putting off the making this choice at the time so let's go ahead and find out like one two three four five people this is the most per people in this reading so far that there's been i'm messing up the cards all right so let's do clock This is the eye color. Please tell me what is the primary eye color for the person who's being depicted by clock? What is the primary eye color for the person being depicted as clock? All right, so like the bulk of you, the eye color is gonna be green. Please tell me what is the secondary eye color for the clock? For the person being depicted by clock, what is the secondary eye color? So the second most is going to be brown for the eye color for clock. All right, and then for um, hair color, please tell me what is the primary hair color for the person being depicted as clock. What is the primary hair color? All right, so the bulk of you, the most, the person, the first person is going to be black, who is in love with you. And please tell me what is the secondary hair color for the person who is in love with stone number three. The first person is clock. And so the second, the secondary color is brown. So it's gonna be black or brown here. So here we have girl with a snake. Let's find out who this person is. Please tell me what is the primary eye color for the person who is a girl with a snake? So the primary eye color is green. 
All right, so I'm hearing again that some of this is only four people and some of you have five, okay? So this person right here might be part of this person, okay, for this reading, the first two sets, okay? But some of you, this is actual another person. Please tell me what is the secondary what is the secondary eye color for the person who is depicted as the girl with a snake? What is the secondary eye color? Alright, so the secondary eye color is blue. So it's going to be green or blue. Let's find out what the hair color is. Please tell me what is the primary hair color for the girl with the snake, the second person who's in love with stone number two, I mean three. So the primary hair color is brown. Please tell me what is the secondary hair color for the person being depicted with girl with a snake. And the secondary hair color is blonde. All right, so then we have wedding rings, which is supposed to be most likely someone who you're either just got a relationship with or somebody you're in a relationship with. Someone you had a strong commitment with is what I'm getting out of this for most of you. Please tell me what is the primary eye color for the person who is being depicted as wedding rings, please? What is the primary eye color for the person who's depicted the third person in love with stone number three? So the primary eye color is blue. So please tell me what is the secondary eye color for the person who is in love with stone number three, the third person. Which one is it? What is the secondary eye color? And we have green. Okay, so blue or green could be a combination of both two. All right. All right, so the third person who's in love with stone number three with wet wedding rings. Please tell me what is the primary hair color of the person who's in love with stone number three, the third person depicted as wedding rings. So we have the color black. So we have black hair. Please tell me what is the secondary hair color for a person who is being depicted as wedding rings. And we have blonde hair. So it's someone who has black or blonde hair. All right, so now for Healing Heart, the person being depicted as Healing Heart with the Emperor, the fourth person. Please tell me what is the primary eye color for the fourth person or Healing Heart, the person being depicted as Healing Heart. What is it? The primary eye color is green. Oh, please tell me what is the secondary eye color for the person who is being depicted as healing heart. What is the secondary eye color? And we have blue. So green or blue. situated I moved it. All right please tell me what is the primary hair color or yeah primary hair color for the person to be depicted as healing heart. What is the primary hair color for the person being depicted as healing heart? So the bulk of you are going to have blonde hair. The person's gonna have blonde hair. 
Please tell me what is the secondary hair color for the person who is being depicted as healing heart. And the secondary hair color is brown. Alright, so last but not least we have the sword and rose. Please tell me, what is the primary eye color for the person being depicted as the sword in the rose, the last person who is in love with stone number three in the reading? Everybody has freaking green eyes. So it's saying green eyes. So the primary eye color is green. Please tell me, what is the secondary eye color for the person who is being depicted as the sword in the rose? So the secondary eye color is blue. So green or blue eyes again. What are you guys getting all with these green and blue eyed people? <sighs> Let me know in the comments below how accurate the eye color thing and the hair color thing is. Please tell me what is the primary hair color for the person being depicted as the sword and the rose? What is the primary hair color for the person being depicted as the sword and the rose? So we have brown. Please tell me what is the secondary eye color or hair color? My bad. Please tell me what is the secondary hair color for the person being depicted as the sword and the rose? What's the secondary hair color? Which one is it? Alright, so the second one is blonde. <clears throat> All right, so that's all I have for stone number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to stone number four. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number four with the purple agate. And let's go ahead and find out who's in love with you and what do they look like. So first I'm going to do the cards to talk about the person, who they, what their sign might be or something like that. And then I'm going to do um, the pendulum to tell you what they look like. So we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. Then we have the Five of Wands. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. Then we have the Seven of Wands. And then the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Then to clarify the Four of Cups in the reverse, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Clarifying the Five of Wands, we have the Page of Wands. Clarifying the Six of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant. Clarifying the Seven of Wands, we have the World in the Reverse. And then clarifying the Eight of Cups in the Reverse, we have the Eight of Cups. That happens sometimes. It's trying to tell me something though. And clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, we have Date. Clarifying the Page of Wands, we have Hammer. Clarifying the Hierophant, we have Dragonfly. Clarifying the World in the Reverse, we have Girl Talk. And then clarifying the Eight of Cups, we have the Sword and the Rose. All right. So what I figured out is like, it's like three people. So these two, these cards right here are talking about this right here. And then we have this in the middle and then we have this one that is also being talked about this. So let's figure out what's going on here. <sighs> All right. So this is a person who I feel like you, you maybe, 
I feel like somebody maybe who put a lot of work or maybe you put a lot of work in, but some, there was some kind of a lot of work that was being put into meeting each other. Like, there was like, I feel like I, I want to say there was something that was set up, that was planned. And I, I'm feeling like there was a conflict and, and it might have fell, fell through. It might not happen. So what I am hearing is that this person kind of like, they might have told you there was a conflict or something. It's like they're trying to kind of like sabotage it. It was like a self-sabotage thing for some. Some might be trying to meet with you again. And some might, I'm feeling that it could have been like maybe they're, they're embarrassed that they weren't able to show up. And so they might not, they might have just totally ghosted you all together. But either way, this person, let's see, they could be a fire sign. It could be a water sign or an earth sign. It's really broad on this one. All right, and then the next person, we're gonna say this person's being depicted as gate date because it's like someone you, you might have had a date with. I was supposed to have a date with. If you did go on this date and there was a prop and you did meet each other, I feel like there might have been some kind of conflict or something like that. This person, though, is in love with you and they, they're afraid they're missing on opportunity with you. Also, I'm picking up that some they might re engage soon. For some that are ghosted and they haven't heard from them yet. There's a lot of, I'm feeling the, I'm feeling like embarrassment coming off of this. They're kind of embarrassed. There's a lot of embarrassment and like, I'm even picking up some of them, maybe got like a pimple or something like that. You know, I don't know. Maybe they got a yeast infection. I don't know. It's like some of it's something like that as part of the conflict. There's a lot of different reasons and some of them are kind of dumb to be honest with you and petty, but I mean, you know, it's not about you is what the point is. So the dragonfly is, could be a Taurus. I think the six of pentacles is a Taurus as well. Yeah, that could be a Taurus. And this person is someone who is well off. This person also might be married for some of you I'm hearing, not all of them. But I'm picking up that some of these people are married. Some of them are just someone who's very like devout, someone who's very who tries to be a very good person. This is a lighthearted, a, like a lighthearted person who I feel like they're just very clear and honest and open. That's what I'm getting out of this one. This one might be someone who you like the most because it is in the center of the reading. Okay, and then um, we have this other person. This other person. You have unfinished business with and they can't seem to walk away from you, but they're trying to walk away from you. They're like all over the place. This person is all over the place. This person could be a Capricorn. They could be a Pisces. Or they could be some kind of fire sign I'm picking up here. I don't feel like this is spe specific. Ugh. I feel like a, a lot of them, they, they feel like they're moving on. They're thinking they're moving on. I feel like they're kind of like going out and partying or something like that. But I'm feeling like, or what I'm also picking up is that maybe they, they couldn't walk away for a long time and then they decided to finally walk away. But they feel like they have unfinished business with you. And I feel like with the seven of wands, like they are trying to defend your relationship for a long time. 
For the most part, I don't feel like this person, this person's pretty happy sing, single. They're kind of someone who likes to have fun and they like to live in the moment and spend a lot of time with their friends. All right, so we're gonna represent this person as girl talk. This one's gonna be represented as dragonfly. And this one's gonna be represented as date. So let's go ahead and figure out what they look like. So let's start off with the per first person who's being depicted as date. This might, it might've been first because this might be like the most recent person you've interacted with. Let me know in the comments below. But, so let's see what they look like. You might already know, but we'll see if it goes along with what you're thinking about. It doesn't have to, this is 100% accurate, this is a general reading, but you know, we try to do our best to see how it works. Let me know how it works out for you in the comments below. So, all right, so this is the primary hair co eye color. So please tell me what is the primary eye color of the first person who's in love with stone number four, represented by date? What is the primary eye color for date? So the primary eye color is brown. Please tell me what is the secondary eye color for the person who is represented by date? What is the secondary eye color? What is it? So we have blue. Okay, so the bulk of you, like the most of them, when I say primary, it's like the bulk of, like the most of people are likely to have it be brown. The least, like the lesser, but still a lot of, the secondary most prominent eye color is going to be blue. All right, so let's figure out what the hair color is. Please tell me what is the primary hair color for the person who's being represented as date? What is the primary eye color? I mean hair color for the person who's being represented as date. Primary hair color is brown. So the bulk of the people are going to have brown hair that are getting this reading. Please tell me who is the secondary? What is the hair what is the hair color of the secondary? Secondary hair color for being represented as date, the person being represented as date. So the secondary hair color is blonde. So if this person stood you up, they actually love you and they probably wish they didn't. And I'm feeling like a lot of them are gonna try to make it come back and be like, after their herpes go away or something. I'm making a joke. I don't know if they really have herpes. I'm being sarcastic because I'm feeling like a lot of them had stupid reasons. Some of them had to work, but a lot of them, they were like petty reasons. And, and I feel bad for you guys if you guys stood up and when they could have told you, but all right, please tell me what is the primary eye color for the person being represented by dragonfly? What is the primary eye color for the person being rec um, represented by dragonfly? All right, so the bulk is going to be green eyes. Please tell me what is going to be the secondary eye color for people, the person being represented by dragonfly? What is the secondary eye color? So the secondary eye color is gonna be blue. Let's find out the hair color. Please tell me what is the primary hair color for the person being represented for dragonfly? What is the primary hair color? So the primary hair color is going to be black. Please tell me what is the secondary hair color for the person being represented by dragonfly? What is the secondary hair color? And the secondary hair color is blonde. So it's going to be black or blonde. That's really all over the place, isn't it? All right. And let's do the last person because you have three people. It's saying three people are in love with you. So the last person is represented as girl talk. 
So the person being represented by Girl Talk, please tell me what is the primary eye color for the person being represented as Girl Talk. What is the primary eye color for the people who pick stone number four, their fourth, their third person in love with them, represented by Girl Talk? So the bulk is going to be green eyes, represented by the Girl Talk card. Please tell me, what is the secondary eye color for the person being depicted as Girl Talk in this reading? So the secondary eye color is going to be brown. Please tell me, what is the primary hair color for the person being represented as Girl Talk? What is the primary hair color? So the primary hair color is going to be red. Please tell me, what is the secondary hair color that is being represented for Girl Talk, the card Girl Talk? What is the secondary hair color, please? So the secondary hair color is brown, so red or brown. So that's what the persons who are in love with you look like. All right, so that's all I have for stone number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.